we're in Microsoft Excel, and we want to sum across multiple columns based on one or more criteria. So here's my criteria. I'm summing book sales for web customers across all five months. Now we can't use a standard sum ifs for this because your sum range is a different size to your criteria ranges. If you're in a version of Excel prior to Excel 365, I suggest you use some product. Let's see how this works for initially one criteria. So first of all, you want to specify all the cells that you want to sum. So if I select that first range, control shift down arrow key, control backspace, that will select the range of values that we want to add up. Then I put my multiply symbol in, and then I express my criteria. So my first criteria will be for the product group column. So I select that product group column. I'm going to say, does it equal the value I'm holding in K2? Now, this expression at the moment will just return a series of true and falses. I want the trues to be ones and the falses to be zeros so that I then multiply the values in this range by one if the condition is met, otherwise multiply it by zero, in which case they won't be included in the calculation. Now to get these to be trues and falses, all I need to do is put two minus signs in front of the expression and then enclose the expression in brackets. And the two close brackets at the end and I press enter and it gives me the sum of book sales across these five months. Now, if I wanted to add a second criteria, easy to do, put another multiply in, two minus signs, open a bracket, and I'll express the second criteria. So does customer type equal the value in L2? Two close brackets at the end, press enter, and I get my answer. Now, if you have Excel 365, you could use filter instead. I'll just move this out of the way so you can see the spilled results. The filter function equals filter array. So that'd be all the values that you potentially want to add up. Include. So what do I want to include? Well, we'll say initially we want to include book sales. So we would say in column B, does the value equal the value held in K2. Now if I close the bracket, press enter, you can see it spills the results. Those are all the values for the book rows. If I sum those up, that will give me the total sales for books. Now if I want to add the second criteria, I need to put the first criteria in brackets and then say multiply by the second criteria. So that'd be in column C, do the values equal the value I'm storing in L2. That needs to go in brackets as well. And then I press enter and I get exactly the same answer as the sum product version of the calculation. Now, lastly, just take this heading back. You can actually do this with some ifs if you add a total column. So I add up the sales amounts in each row using auto sum. And now I can specify my sum range as the total column. Criteria range one is the product group column. And the criteria one is the value held in K2. Then criteria range two is the customer type column. And the criteria for that is in L2. Close the bracket, press enter. I get the same answer as the other two versions of the calculation. If up here, I change the results, it will automatically recalculate. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next video.